The oath that I took to the Constitution uh, compelled me to vote for impeachment, uh, and it doesn't bend uh, to partisanship. It doesn't bend to political pressure. Uh, it's the most important oath uh, that, that we that we take. What we already know is enough for his impeachment. Uh, what we already know does constitute the, the gravest uh, violation of his oath of office by any president in the history of the country. Uh, and, and this is not something that we can simply look past or pretend didn't happen or, or try to move on. We've got to make sure this never happens again. Is it that America has such a disappointing Congress? Because in a lot of ways, Liz Cheney is exactly like Congress, deeply unpopular and owned by special interests. I believe impeaching the president in such a short time frame would be a mistake. A vote to impeach would further divide this nation. We should be focused on bringing the nation together. Instead, Democrats are going to impeach the president for a second time, one week, one week before he leaves office. Why? Why? Politics and the fact that they want to, they want to cancel the president. It seems to me that impeachment is an itch that doesn't go away with just one scratch. It also seems that President Trump may be most likely to be impeached when he is correct. Somebody who uh, has provoked an attack on the United States Capitol to prevent the counting of electoral votes, uh, which resulted in five people dying, who refused to stand up immediately when he was asked and stop the violence, uh, that, that is a person who does not have a role as a leader of our party going forward. There needs to be a vote of, uh, of, of confidence, no confidence in, in the conference chair. You can't have the leader, the spokesperson of your conference uh, out talking to, uh, uh, you know, whose who's job is to talk to the American people about the Republican position, taking a position on one of the biggest votes we ever have in the United States Congress. That's, a, that's against 96% of, uh, of the conference that she's supposed to uh, represent. I think that the vote uh, in conference made very clear, we are the party of Lincoln. We are not the party of QAnon or anti-Semitism or Holocaust deniers or uh, white supremacy or conspiracy theories. That's not who we are. Uh, we believe in conservative principles and conservative values and we believe in the Constitution. People all across Wyoming uh, understand and recognize that, that our most important duty is to the Constitution. And uh, as I've explained and will continue to explain to uh, supporters uh, all across the state, voters all across the state, the oath that I took to the Constitution uh, compelled me to vote for impeachment. Uh, and it doesn't bend uh, to partisanship. It doesn't bend to political pressure. Uh, it's the most important oath uh, that, that, we, that we take. We have to make sure that we uh, are able to convey to the American voters we are the party of responsibility, we are the party of truth, uh, that we actually can be trusted to handle the challenges this nation faces like COVID. Uh, and, and that's going to require us to focus on substance and policy and issues going forward, but, but we should not be embracing the former president. <laughs>